Yohalim Jubilees 20. And in the 42nd Jubilee, in the first year of the seventh week, Avraham called Yishmael and his 12 sons, and Yitzhak and his two sons, and the six sons of Keturah, and their sons. And he commanded them that they should observe the way of Yahuwah, that they should work righteousness and love each his neighbor and act on this manner amongst all men, that they should each so walk with regard to them as to do judgment and righteousness on the earth, that they should circumcise their sons according to the covenant which he had made with them, and not deviate to the right hand or to the left of all the paths which Yahuwah had commanded us, and that we should guard ourselves from all fornication and uncleanness, and renounce from amongst us all fornication and uncleanness. And if any woman or maid commit fornication against you, burn her with fire, and let them not commit fornication with her after their eyes and their heart. And let them not take to themselves women from the daughters of Canaan. For the seed of Canaan will be rooted out of the land. And he told them of the judgment of the Nephilim and the judgment of the Sodomim, how they had been judged on account of their wickedness and had died on account of their fornication and uncleanness and multiple corruption through fornication. And guard yourselves from all fornication and uncleanness and from all pollution of sin, lest ye make our name a curse and your whole life a hissing and all your sons to be destroyed by the sword and ye become a curse like Kadam and all your remnant as the sons of Amorah. I implore you, my sons, love the Elohim of heaven and cleave ye to all his commandments and walk not after their idols and after their uncleanness and make not for yourselves molten or graven Elohim for they are vanity and there is no ruach in them for they are work of men's hands and all who trust in them trust in nothing. Serve them not nor worship them, but serve ye El Eon, and worship him continually, and hope for his countenance always, and work up rightness and righteousness before him, that he may have pleasure in you, and grant you his mercy, and send rain upon you morning and evening, and bless all your works which ye have wrought upon the earth, and bless your bread and your water, and bless the fruit of your womb and the fruit of your land and the herds of your cattle and the flocks of your sheep. And ye will be for a blessing on the earth and all nations of the earth will desire you and bless your sons in my name that they may be blessed as I am. And he gave to Yishmael and to his sons and to the sons of Keturah gifts and sent them away from Yitzhak, his son. And he gave everything to Yitzhak, his son. And Yishmael and his sons and the sons of Keturah and their sons went together and dwelt from Paran to entering in of Babel in all the land which is towards the east facing the desert. And these things, and rather, and these mingled with each other. And their name was called Aravim, rather, Aravim and Yishmaelim.